What an absolutely gorgeous beach. I'm finding myself very self-reflective the past week or so as I think about my last four years away from the United States. And I would highly suggest that none of you move to the Philippines like I did in the manner that I did. Obviously there was a pregnancy involved and um, that changed the course of my life forever. And I'd like to tell you that I'm always had this plan and I have it all together and um, I knew how things would turn out that I never thought about just cutting and running. And sadly, that was definitely a option that I thought that I had in my mind. But I can tell you four years later that I'm very glad that I did not do that. And um, at the time, about April, oh, we have a friend. Hello. Here I am sharing my most intimate thoughts on a beach and there's a local man <laughs> sitting among the palm trees. But I digress. It was a difficult time, April of 2019, when I found out via text message that Chrissy was pregnant while I was in the US at the time. And I had just come there for the first time in January of 2019. I was in a tumultuous place myself even with her removed with my family situation, my work situation, my own mental stability, <laughs> among other things. And I didn't have it all figured out at all. There he is. Always following me. And um, I just knew that I couldn't abandon Chrissy and I had to somehow figure it out. And that would give you, the listener, who sees my life today and thinks that, oh wow, you have this or that or whatever. Um, I definitely didn't come to the Philippines with the right mindset of knowing that it was gonna work and have a backup plan. And I, as my friends at the US Embassy, when I met with them, Oh, about six weeks ago told me that they're filled with stories of men that have come to the Philippines primarily and um, came without a good backup plan and those guys do exist to help you out so they do have ways of getting you help medical or repatriation so I do want to do my do my civic duty and let you know that uh, help is out there Hey buddy, why do you like me so much? Nobody else does. But anyway, I was given a gift by Harold Balder to start this YouTube channel and I'm forever grateful for that. For that. Thank you, Harold. On a crazy idea that I could somehow make a YouTube channel work and he thought that I could. I never thought that I could. I thought it was a ridiculous idea that would never work out. But somehow it's taken us this far together on this journey throughout many places in Asia, even throughout the world. We've been to Africa on the channel. We have been to Central America. You've seen, uh, seen me get married. You've seen Chrissy take her first trip out of the country. And I do want to just tell you how much I do love my wife and how proud I am of her. And I'm proud of the woman that she's becoming. It's really blowing my mind with the stuff that she's been able to accomplish. And I must say, that she continues to do things that surprise me in a good way. As I am here 
thousands of miles away from Chrissy. Maybe not thousands, but maybe around a thousand. She's working out in the gym, doing things that I never thought she would do, like deadlift, squat. It's all pretty awesome to watch her grow as a person and mature and become a wonderful mother and obviously be a wonderful wife to me. And uh, I have much to be thankful for. So we go back to the fact of four years ago, I think many of you weren't sure that I was gonna stick around. I wasn't even very sure of myself that I could accomplish anything. And um, fortunately, things worked out the way that they did. And we've slowly built a life from nothing. I arrived in the Philippines with essentially no source of income and a surfboard and a couple bags and that was about it i still at some point have to go back home to the united states and uh, deal with a lot of issues that i have there um shoot i think i've even taken you to the, my storage unit in the early days of the channel where I, I put basically everything that i had in the united states into that small storage unit at the time the price was like $280 to have that unit it's now gone to about $400 a month so inflation has definitely been biting me at some point I need to get rid of those stuff because I far exceeded the value of uh, what's in there compared to what I paid over the, the years of having that unit But I just want to give my appreciation to you, the viewer, for being with me for so long and sticking by me to the channel members that have been subscribed every month as a channel member. And uh, it really gives me a vote of confidence that there's people out there supporting me. And also to the subscribers, although only 40% of the people that watch my channel are subscribed. <laughs> I don't know why this is. I think the world has a problem with commitment, as I did making my choice early to go all in with Chrissy. And um, that was a, a wonderful roll of the dice that ended up, up so well for me. So for you guys playing the game at home, don't move to the Philippines like I did with no plan, getting someone pregnant, having a relatively uh, unstable emotional state, among other things. <laughs> But I think one of the greatest gifts the good Lord has given to me is not only a lot of grace, but also as one of my former bosses told me when he fired me, Tim, you're a survivor, you'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of small episodes and vignettes of my life that I wish I had uh, with the camera rolling when it happened. That'll be one of them. Not sure if he'll ever see this, but if he does, he'll obviously know who I'm talking about. <laughs> so from a beautiful beach in Southeast Asia, I implore you all to start your trip overseas, living overseas with a plan. Don't be like me and just hope that everything works out living day by day. That is, that is a way to do it. It is a technique, but I highly suggest some simple things that some of you will agree with. 
some of you will think I'm too uh, setting the bar maybe a little too high hello oh. <laughs> imagine the life of that guy I would not move to the Philippines without an income of about three thousand dollars a month that's just my that's my personal opinion I would not move to the Philippines without about twenty thousand dollars in the bank and uh, you need to have a backup plan where you can pull the plug at any moment and then buy yourself some time back in the States to kind of get reacquainted and uh, situated once again <clears throat> so fortunately for many of you real estate has gone up you've done well in that market you're able to rent out your property able to do a lot of things to afford a, a cheaper lifestyle in a place like this I don't think he's pulling in 3,000 a month maybe he is Christy always tells me not to judge a book by its cover so I'll reserve my judgment in this case but after four years I'm glad it all seems to have worked out for me and um, I hope that it continues to but there's always something in the back of my mind that says things are not going to go as planned and uh, whatever it is gentlemen and 20% of ladies that watch my channel just don't give up and keep moving forward <laughs>